Welcome back, we're the Burning Junkies, he's Dan, I'm Sean. Tonight, we got a little little special bottle action. Some, I wish you wouldn't when I when I talk about this. We got a little Mr. Sam. A little Mr. Sam. Please go away. There's so many flies in here. Literally, gonna review Mr. Sam. Cheers, we're the Bourbon Junkies. Like, comment, subscribe, run the intro. There are 50 flies in here. Dude, I there have never been more flies in the shed slash hut that there are. All right, are so right as now. you guys watch us drink this, no, I. This is a gift to the channel yeah. by one Sir Michael Fayette. Fayette. You know I'm I mean? assuming we both slaughtered that, so I'm so sorry. The name's on the screen. Um, he gave this this bottle at Whiskey Weekend and said, "Do with it as you please." <laughs> so, listen, um, Mr. Sam, if you if you aren't a hundred percent aware, Mr. Sam is a release from Sazerac, hyper ultra insane unicorn limited. I think they've done two releases, right? The, two batches. Two, two batches, batches. Yep. That they were like SRP was already like three hundred dollars. It's yep. insane. They were expensive. They were seven of them out there. Yeah, we had better odds of probably getting a tour or warehouse C. That oh, you did a Mr. Not Sam even last close. Year. Like these are insanely limited. So we we've done a handful of um, relatively available bottles recently. Sean's like, you know, we haven't thrown like kind of we've we've been waiting since Whiskey Weekend in what March or April yeah. to review this. And, yeah, beginning of April. And it was like, you know what? Let's finally just do it because eventually the the whiskey's probably gonna go a little flat because it's in the bottom of the bottle. He was cool enough to bring this to Whiskey Weekend. Yeah, and then left it. Yes. Like a crazy person. Yes. So thank you for real thank buddy you, for doing that. Uh, None. It just says a blend of the finest mm -hmm. American and Canadian whiskeys. I, in my mind, oh. really thought this is a boo rye. Oh, it smells so good. Uh, coming at you uh, with a hot 122.6 proof I also. Retail on this was like 250. Yeah. Something like that. Um, it came in a cool box. Also, like almost no marketing from Sazerac on this. No, like they were all. just like, eh, cool man. Send it was it. like, Send it. if you know, you know. And that was kind of it. There from... are just flies everywhere right now. Yeah, flies. You are the fly lord. The lord of the flies. That's you. You You're really picky. adopted the fly. This smells incredible. Oh. I could probably just drink this forever. Uh, Smell it forever. Red apples, a metric F ton of like that tobacco, like sweet tobacco note on there. Cherry It's got tobacco. spiciness. Oh my gosh. Have you guys ever seen a swirl like that? I just want to. You ever seen a swirl? You ever seen a freaking swirl like that, dude? Oh my gosh. It smells like Buffalo Trace. The best parts of Buffalo Trace are in here, 100%, right? With like, the best parts of Stag Jr. and E.H. Taylor's are inside of here. This reminds me if you took like a Red Earth 20 and put it at like barrel proof. Yes. It's got that sweet oak, but there's such an accompanying proof with it that it just, it envelops to mouth. And I don't know how 120 proof drinks like that until it hits about right here for me. It's so soft, oh. so sweet, and then all the proof. I, I would um, venture to say, They're got him, literally got him. Did They're you see that? That guy's whole family's upset because I cleaned his clock. The problem with this whiskey being hyper limited. Oh, I, now here's the thing. Glad hyper that expensive. I don't. Sean can put it on the screen, probably based on proof. I don't know if this is batch one or two. Oh, I don't. We know. We don't actually know. Um, and I do wish I knew Mr. Sam better. The Mighty Sam Bronfman. Bronfman. Oh, that's Seagram's first master blender. Mm. Holy shit, we're really bad at our jobs. Okay, you can put that away. We're really bad at our jobs. <clears throat> he built his Seagram company <clears throat> into a massive spirits empire, come to find out. Our master blender, Drew, comes from Seagram's, comes from this Seagram master blender lineage. Oh. That makes... This is a tribute to it. Okay. You should leave all that in. No. You and I learning this is yeah. hyper important. Yeah, that's you know, because fair. we because we can grow as people. That's we fair. can show people that we're growing. This, um, honestly, also, because I, I did do a bunch of research beforehand. Yeah. As you saw. Um, yeah, I did. This was bottled in Quebec, too. Just to double, really just drop a right. little Quebec. 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 Two hours later. Well, you know what, Mr. Sam? Thank you, Bronfman, Sir Bronfman. Sir Bronfman. Honestly, Sean and I have learned a lot today. They learned along with us. Yeah. We all did this together. This is a journey. Uh, like I, this whiskey is. I'm sorry if you thought this is going to be a real review. It's incredible. Seven whiskey. people are going to find this bottle. 
It is fantastic whiskey. It is like, what do I want to say? Like allocated whiskey at its finest that mm -hmm. you know you're going to pay a lot for something and it actually is worth like SRP. I wouldn't be mad paying 275 or whatever for this bottle. That's like, good. It's amazing. Secondary is around 2200. Yeah, no, I'm not going to talk about that. 2200. No, we don't talk about secondaries. So for around two grand, you can get one yourself uh, legally. But mm. the nice part, Illegally. 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 Sorry, yeah. I, I did stutter the eye. Illegally. Illegally. Um, you probably could find one at high markup shops, honestly, for around that 2500 mark, I bet. Yeah. But um, Is it worth that? No. no. What, but yeah, if you got that FU money, then what isn't worth $2,000? Then this yeah. This bottle of whiskey, for real, legitimately. This is amazing. Is a BTAC level at least. Oh, 100%. 100%. Complete. They could literally have put that in yes. a BTAC bottle and sold it. Nobody. And no one would have batted an eye. Honestly, it probably would have won a bunch of awards. Guaranteed. Like whiskeys of the year. It's thing. it's so sweet. It's got yeah. you can taste the age on it, and yeah. like it's got that sweet oak that you can't emulate without having it in a barrel for a I long time. I just realized I've given zero tasting. I notes. know, not a one. Yeah, I know. Like if you would have put a counter on the screen and said dance, I know. Notes, it's still be at zero. Yep. I just realized that. Yeah. I'm eleven and a half minutes. Yeah, I get it. Into zero. We get it. Wow, that's rough. Okay, let me do, give taste notes. Why don't you go ahead and give your rundown? Sweet oak, stroop waffle, caramel, dark craft honey on the nose. Dark craft honey. Like that rich, thick. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Beauty, beauty. Craft honey, I call it craft honey because craft breweries and craft distilleries. Yep. Craft honey from not like the bear. You know what I mean? <laughs> like came in a jar because a guy yes. like had a bunch Someone of bees. Someone that actually tends their bees with yeah. this honey, yes. I agree. It, it does have that. I get a little um, like grapeiness about it too. Like what color grape? Purple, purple or green. Purple. Okay. It, this is a Concord grape. It's the only grape I know. Um, <laughs> but it's got like I think. Uh, if you wouldn't have said that that was the only grape you know. Hundred percent just went along yeah. with it. I like <laughs> the Eagle Rare grapeiness about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like this, the little baby hint of this that. reminds me of Eagle Rare Seventeen with complexity of well WLW. And then you added Rhetoric 25 onto it. Yeah, but well, the Eagle Rare 17 carries that nice, sweet, yep. rich oak, right? Yeah, yeah. WLW doesn't, but WLW carries that really cool, Caramel sweet, beautiful, sweetness. rich, um, just sugary sweetness that makes everybody happy. Um, I genuinely think that this bottle of whiskey is one of the best bottles of whiskey anywhere near 250 bucks ever. Yeah. Like, for real. It's barrel proof. They didn't water it down because a lot of this hyper age stuff. This is definitely an age of uh, really so old well. product. A lot of the hyper age stuff is a low proof. Yeah. This is why Mictors 20 and 25 are so good. It's because yeah. they leave them alone. Also, super low entry proof. There's a whole sure. Thing yeah, yeah. It. but yeah. but but they leave them. The, you get a Mictors 20 at 120 proof, and yeah. it's incredible. This being 122 proof drinks incredibly well. Super easy drinker. Doesn't harm you. It's not in your face, but it's perfectly balanced. Yeah, Dude, uh, you the whiskey lost profit, ninety yes. proof. But if you think, what would that taste like at one hundred twenty proof? Probably not great. It might not be great. Probably it not. It really great. might not be. Great. Um, it would probably be way too much oakiness, and that's carrying a high age statement. Okay, let's do because I don't want to grade this. It's incredible. Let's grade it on how much would you pay at a bar? Oh, for like a single pour, right? You're now? Never gonna own a bottle. Neither will we. This is how much we had of the bottle left, right? We killed it right now. We haven't drank this here, mind you. You and I have never drank. No, this No, we've not. This is the first time we ever. First had time it. we did have it whiskey weekend with him. Yeah. I think if I was at a bar and I saw this for $45, yeah. I think that'd be appropriate. I was going to go 60. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, 60 is almost the limit of what I'll pay at a bar for, for a, a single pour. pour. For a pour. You're getting cast strength, old whiskey, blended well. Blended incredibly well. Um, like there's nothing to really not like about this other than the price tag and availability. This is one of the coolest like bottle... We like, even with the little bit left, yeah. this is one of the coolest things we've gotten, yeah. I think. Like, because Sean and I will never get a bottle, own a bottle, none of that. It's just super cool. It's the same bottle, it right? It shits on. It's the same Orphan bottle, Girls, right? By the way. Yeah. Yep, identical. Which is kind of funny. It's yeah. kind of like a fuck you for lost profit, huh? Yeah. Because you know what they did? They said, we're going to do the same thing, but at a barrel proof. Yeah. So fuck yourself. Orphan Barrel. All right, cool. We're at Bourbon Junkies. Like, comment, subscribe. Proofs in the park.